is the Align Pretzel Show. I'm your host, Nisha Ryan, founder of the Align Pretzel Inc., a digital marketing and operations agency for witchy spiritual entrepreneurs. Your small business just got a marketing department for the fraction of the price. You're welcome. If you're looking to get your shit together, have some giggles, spiritually expand, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. What's up, you guys? Happy Thursday. Nisha Ryan of The Line Pretzel Inc. here coming at you with some some goodies, <laughs> some serious goodies today. So today I wanted to just chat a little bit and I don't really have anything planned, which is kind of like a little bit unlike me. Usually I have a couple of note points I want to go through, but I want to talk to you about um, standard operating procedures and why you need them, why do you need SOPs? Because literally a month ago I was like, I don't need SOPs, they're in my head. Um, but if you're bringing on a team, you're going to want to have them actually written down and I'm going to tell you why. So before I dive into that, if you could just actually let me know you're here, just hash me pick, hash me pick. <laughs> Hashtag me. <laughs> Something cool, replay, whatever you feel like. Just let me know that you can hear me because I'm trying a new setup today. So just let me know you're like, yeah, pretzel, present, (laughs) whatever. Okay, let's do this. So for those of you who are like SOPs are standard operating procedures, meaning like what's your process for doing a podcast episode? What's your process for writing content or posting to social media, like these things that we don't even think about. Um, We need them written down and and here's why. Um, The thing is, and I'm gonna give you some examples of like the first ever like team I joined when I was like a solo VA and like what went really wrong. Um, So one of the first things is just because you, you, it makes sense in your head and you're a creative being to be like, um, okay, VA, number one, go do this thing. They don't necessarily do all the things that you do because you know it, it's yours, it's your baby. You can see things that maybe they don't necessarily see because they're not you. So to take like the beautiful creative energy and instruction from your brain and putting them on paper, digital paper, (laughs) um, means that somebody can literally just like tune into your code of what you do and see it through the follow through. (laughs) Um, So here's where like I've seen it go like really wrong. Um, By the way, if you can see this, let me know. I don't see any comments, but I'm like, I don't know if this is working or not. New setup today, new setup people. Okay, so here's an example of like when I was first kind of starting out as a VA, um, somebody asked me to join their team and it was like a huge 13 person team and I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and here's like how it, how it went down and it was actually not managed so great, um, which I now like take all these lessons and bring it into the Line Pretzel Inc. now because This is like legit what we're doing. We're doing the project management. We're doing all the things, right? Like when you come on with us, you're not just getting a project manager. I guess, you know, I do some kind of OBM level stuff um, for whatever you have going on in your business, but you also just like assume that whole team, which is really cool. But here's what was kind of happening. Hi, Addy. I see your reaction. Awesome. Thank you. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little cold. Totally Robin's fault. He woke up sick this morning as well. Or under the weather, I should say. Okay, so here's what I saw. You have one person doing podcasts. Um, one person, like, and this is just an example, right? I think I feel like this was a pretty extreme example, but you had one person doing graphics. You had one person... Um, doing admin backend Facebook group stuff. You had another person doing content. 
you had another person like, like and it was just like literally everything that you can think about there was like another person there's another person doing funnels like there was a person for everything it was kind of like overkill of like i need a person to do one thing however that's how that this was this place was run and i see a lot of fault in that because there were no standard operating procedures for um what person was to do so there was no standard operating procedures for podcasts for example um which meant here's what happens when you have this setup when you bring on a team and you don't have these procedures in place like i know because this was me like a month ago seriously um you end up not only having to check over what people have done so let's take podcasts for example so you so you edit and upload a podcast and you have no standard operating procedures for your person so this means then you go take the time to look at the podcast host look back over um what they did did they miss anything is everything okay um so there's a time to take that and then if there's even just one tweak like sorry how you name your episodes for example that you didn't have they didn't know because you didn't have it in standard operating procedures then that person has no idea they're not in your creative brain right they don't have your creative code yet and so then you have to go back and do some things right or maybe like the intro and outro isn't as tight as you want it which means you have to go back and do it or you tell them to go back and do it whatever like your choice is Either way, there's a shit ton of time, energy, and money being, like, funneled out the door. Um, and there's nothing more precious than your energy as an entrepreneur. Like, let's let's be honest here. Like, that's your main currency. Um, so when you don't have these things written down on paper, on video, I'm a fan of doing video. Um, again, people can't just, like, loop, tune into your creative need and the way you like things just just so right um and so it brings a lot of i've got to go back and look at this i've got to i've got to i've got to right and it creates so much extra time because let's take the podcast example let's say they name the episode wrong you go back and see all the episodes named wrong then you fix it then you tell the person who did it hey this was named wrong blah 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 Here's for next time. What's what I want. Here's what I want to do. Okay, cool. You think that's the only um, time you're ever going to have to do that. However, if you keep expanding your team, you're going to keep doing this over and over again, which is why you want to have standard operating procedures before you bring on a team. And I think a lot of people where they start, they're just like, I don't, I don't know how to write standard operating procedures. Just start with open a Google Drive doc. And start writing, like, how do you do things? And if you, you're you not good with that, if you're better with filling in the blanks, record a screenshot video, right? Like a Loom or a Zoom while you're doing it. And so people can see, the people who are coming on your team can see how you do this thing. Um, and why you like it this way and why this needs to be like this. It helps a lot. I did a standard operating procedure for how I'm using ClickUp for podcasts um, for my team this week. And they were just like, oh, my God, this makes so much more sense. And I like understand how to use ClickUp and like where I'm keeping my notes and all those things. And they're like so freaking grateful. Um, Now, I will kind of like preamble this a little bit. Like it might not be such a big deal if you're bringing on a VA just for like a little task here, a little task there. It does mean you'll have to explain yourself, though right? How you do it, why you do it this way. The more upfront information you give, the faster your VA can be um, because she's not guessing of like, so do you want this or do you want this and do you want this and do you want this, right? Um, So that might not be a super big deal, but then once you start bringing on like more people for more things, right? You start bringing on a copywriter. You start bringing on a graphic designer. You start bringing on a second VA because your first VA can't handle all the things. Um, that's when it starts to be like, okay, I need to actually carve out time for operations because that's really fucking important, even though that's probably something that like 
literally as business owners, we just like let fly down so much, right? Um, which is kind of why I revamped my packages because I really love the operations part of it. Um, I'm creating centered operating procedures for our client right now. Hi, Christina. Which is like, it's actually so much fun for me. She's like, how do I, what is? <laughs> I was like, I will fill in the blanks for you. It's okay. <laughs> um, so, like, that's really fun. That's one of my loves. But that's why I changed my packages. One of my packages right now, it has kind of an add-on. An add-on where you can choose. It's going crazy here today. Look how long this piece is. Oh, yes. Long hair come back. Hell, yes. Okay. <laughs> um why I revamped my packages to be, uh, it has an add-on. The middle one has an add-on. It's a pretzel affogato. Um, it has an add-on either operations package, meaning I create all your standard operating procedures. I help you with that. I get your back end sorted, all that good stuff. Like one of our clients were doing contracts, so she doesn't have any. We're doing standard operating procedures. We're doing deliverables for clients, tracking, um, calendar work, like any back end admin you can think of, we're doing it. Or, um, which is like really relative to this live, obviously, <laughs> or, or having a marketing package in that one. So it has a choice of operations or marketing. Um, I was just kind of tweaking the sales page last night to like make sure it makes sense. Um, but those are kind of the two major things we're offering right now that I'm really excited about. Um, that are in our medium and highest packages. Pretzel affogato and oh, so many reactions coming through. Thank you guys. <laughs> um, pretzel affogato and um, pretzel cold brew. That's what I call, call them all after coffee because I'm clearly obsessed. Uh, what was this thing? Right. So, pretzel affogato has a choice of like, you want us to do all your operations or you want the done for you marketing. Um, so, the done for you marketing. Um, I talked about it on another live. I don't remember when that was, but it's like us doing all your content, all your visuals, all your everything, following it through the implementation, everything. So like imagine somebody writes for you, somebody creates your graphics, somebody posts for you on Instagram and Facebook, um, does your Instagram stories, your blog, your newsletter, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, we write all that. Uh, or the operations piece, which is just a little bit of what I'm talking about today. Um, so I just, I'm just super excited that like we have these two really amazing things going on that just bring us beyond like just VA tasks. Like we're really looking at big picture these days and I'm just, I'm so jazzed about it. I can't begin to explain how jazzed I am. Um, so that's kind of all I really wanted to say around centered operating procedures. Um, if you don't know, just start. So you have something. Um, for, for when you bring on a team, like, you know, okay, uh, so what do we do here? Right? Like, there's no confusion. Um, it's going to be a lot less energy when your team can just execute on your behalf and you don't have to do anything. You can stay in bed or write content or go to the gym, or whatever it is you like to do with your time. <laughs> okay, that's all I really wanted to say. If you're curious about our packages, feel free to shoot me um, a message. I'd love to speak to you. And other than that, happy freaking Thursday. Woo! <laughs>